Kate's outside with the termite man and uh, we're getting a little bit of a consultation into the state of the bugs and rot <laughs> all throughout this big old window we might have to pay to replace. Yay! So the good news is, Pestman says we don't have termites, which is awesome because it means we don't have to treat the whole house, but it is wood rot. So the glaziers we spoke to all sort of said, should replace the whole window. <laughs> but we're probably gonna do the little more budget conscious option. I'm just gonna gouge out all the rotten wood bits with my chisels. And then I'm gonna clean it all out, paint it, seal it. And no one will ever know, except for in three or four years time when we actually have to replace the windows. As an irresponsible friend of mine used to say, I'll just let future me handle that one. <laughs> All right, we've scraped out and sanded back the rot. And now I'm gonna use this magical stuff, which is putty or bog or whatever you want to call it. I like to think of it as uh, lipstick. Just put, put lipstick on it, make it look better and the problems go away. We got most of the rot out. Did Jazza tell you there weren't any termites? They were just yes, wood I bugs? Did. Very exciting. We're very we were, happy about that. We were so happy about that. Our wallets are a little grateful to not be bombarded. And then, did Jazza tell you the termite man told us to fix it? Like this? Well, no, I did say that the glaziers told us to replace the window. The, whole the window. termite man gave us lots of great advice. He used to be a handyman. And, uh, and he said how he would do it. So, this is what the... the Pest man advises us to do, Jazza, run them through it. Because, you know, windows are... We dug out the rot, yep. sanded it back until yep. it was just the hardwood still, you know, firmish enough. Um, and now we're puttying or bogging or lipsticking the gaps. Whatever you want to call it. Jazza, unfortunately the wood had also rotted out this vertical. <laughs> which, it, there is, there are other vertical pieces so I, of wood. I cut a little up, bit of wood. Glued it's it. going to hold it up. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> it's a bit bodge. <laughs> but, uh, you know. It's all good. Yeah. This is the life of a famous, in inverted commas, YouTuber. <laughs> repairing wet rot himself because we can't afford to replace it with, with some bog and tiny piece of wood that's glued in and trying not to get it inside the house through the big hole. <laughs> this is, this is sort of like sculpting. I thought it would be like sculpting because you have to make it look like it's a bit of wood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our lipstick has dried. Now I just smooth it over. I cut some timber. Stick it in. A little bit more lipstick. Tape it. Bit of paint. Now you wash your brush, then you beat the devil out of it. Ooh, good as new. My sculpting even looks like wood, almost. <laughs> now, I've actually been working on a little DIY project while I've been doing the steps of this. Well, I'll show you. Come have a look. I'm building a shoe rack in the entryway. Are you showing me? No, I'm not. I wouldn't dare, my love. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's a fairly permanent fixture but we've had that and uh, it's not been very pretty <laughs> so instead I'm building one and now I'm gonna put this big board uh, on the back of this and then I'm gonna build shelves so this is as far as we got tonight I'm speaking quietly cuz Kate's putting MJ to bed but uh, I've cut a few shelves to almost size and I'll fill gaps tomorrow and uh, tomorrow evening I'll uh, build the shelves but otherwise I'm really happy with the frame and the backing is in there you can sort of see it so yeah a little, little project to turn this into a shoe rack for all those oh hectic weekend lots of DIY this has been two, a two day project by the way this and uh, fixing the window so I just threw them all into one day but then tomorrow after work I'll come back and finish this off thanks for watching see you tomorrow